All right, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over the four small updates that have been released since, I think it was, let's see, June 22nd was last week, yeah, uh, Wednesday of uh, last week, and I just wanted to go over all the small patches because Fox has told us that these are all of the patches that are going to be coming out before the next major update. So just going to kind of to go over everything that has changed in this last week and see if there's anything major, minor, etc, etc. Uh, so just wanted to go over those. We're going to start at 1.4.1, which was the first one, and we'll go to this most recent update, which came out yesterday, I believe. So just looks like we're doing quality of life stuff. Um, we're going to be working on the cloud saves, which I think was fixed. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, mediums Bane Challenge, third map has been adjusted so that skills such as Purifying Circle and Curious Wisp don't inflict multiple counts of damage upon the player when they should it. So the Mediums Bane, if I remember correctly, let's see, I'll put this on full screen. Mm -mm -mm. What map did it say it was on? I haven't done too many of the challenges. Third, wait no, third map. Third map. Just pick some random. Oh, the shadow of it. As always enabled, ghosts from the event do not damage you. So this is the one where you take damage whenever you cast an ability. Um, this one I've seen everyone's been having a lot of fun with, so that's pretty awesome. So basically it just made it to where... So the skills, um, Purifying Circle and Curious Wisp, don't inflict multiple counts of damage upon the player when they shouldn't. So Purifying Circle, you only cast it once technically, but, you know, it, it hits everywhere. For a while so i'm assuming it was probably proccing multiple times per per damage that it dealt to minions and not to like the cast so that's nice and then Cur curious wisp is actually interesting because i wonder if you only take damage from this once or occasionally because like the wisps they go out and they come towards you i don't know if that's technically a cast so but regardless it looks like it uh it got a little bit balanced Fix an issue where the Goblin King's special ability on the third map would hit more than once, resulting in you being obliterated if you're hit. That's hilarious. Uh, the Goblin King, if I remember correctly, is the first boss on the third map, which is the one that shoots out the swords. And it looks like uh, the swords, if you got hit by them, you're going to get hit a million times, pretty much. So, that's pretty funny. Uh, the Raccoon Pet no longer has reduced move speed while carrying chests. That's just, like you said, nice quality of life stuff. Uh, the Raccoon Pet no moves. Map event objects that just crystallize chests and portals to the player this is nuts so when you're doing like a no move challenge or something like that or maybe you're playing with 100 100 uh, percent reduced movement speed because of the map modifiers you're trying to get some gemstones uh the fact that the raccoon can move these to you that's crazy because on the third map i mean one of the biggest deals is that you can't deal damage to those guys if you don't have movement speed and that actually impacts how much hp and damage the mobs do so the fact that the raccoon can bring them to you that's pretty cool. I know he had said he was mess gonna mess around with this, but I didn't think he would actually implement it, so that's pretty awesome. Let's see. Steam integration was not properly updating mid-run. This is also why taking screenshots is behaving strangely. Never ran into this one because I don't really take a lot of screenshots with um, like the built-in screenshot. I generally just use Snip. Um, fixing the issue where Entangle was incorrectly given the player an invisible aura, which destroyed projectiles. That's funny as hell. Because um, they, they made it to where Entangle can destroy projectiles so if you you have a mob entangled right if projectiles hit it they'll get destroyed looks like it was accidentally giving it to the player though and fixed a crash related to pets when no enemies are present on the screen nice okay uh i also never ran into this one i think it's mostly because i haven't played anything where i didn't have like really high speed up so the mobs were just like constantly around me i think i always had mobs on my screen <laughs> let's see some more pet tweaking looks like they got cloud saving like i thought so that's awesome. And then it looks like the next patch is going to be on the stat menu, but we'll get to that anyways. So let's see. Cloud saving is enabled. This is awesome. It's just going to make everything easier. Uh, this way you can play on different computers and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Thank you, Fox. Uh, the raccoon's pet hoarder trait is now less effective and items magnetized to you much slower. This is the intended speed. The previous speed was way too high. So you, that you'd have to invest one point into it and ask why you'd ever want to level it up any more than that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I never, I, I haven't played the raccoon since these updates, but it looks like the uh, magnetization was kind of super strong, and so it didn't really seem like there's a point to upgrade it, basically, um, outside of trying to unlock the next tier, so I would definitely say that that is a good fix. It kind of reminds me of the Whisper when the Whisper released 
it was uh <laughs> it was really fast i have to say like i could get across the whole map basically so that's a that's a good fix uh change pet pathing ai hopefully with this right oh the raccoon was getting stuck or running in circle that's pretty funny um but that's that's nice i feel like i guess everyone's running the raccoon i've been playing the fox a lot because i feel like the fox is almost mandatory if you're going for anything over a hundred times uh on the map modifiers because you just need evasion so some changes to the medium bane challenge tweaking its abilities you wouldn't expect to hurt you no longer hurt you that's awesome i wonder if ascension was damaging people that's pretty funny uh the sp regen booster item no longer drops in the medium bane's challenge that's just a because like if you got the sp regen booster you probably you probably just died i have to assume while you're doing this challenge that's funny as heck so that's a that's a good fix uh, in the event that you open a chest while being dead the chest process is now cancelled interesting I wonder if people were like dying, like trading the boss and then dying immediately after and then the chest opened. That'd be my guess. Uh, fix an issue where the game would not properly pause upon victory defeat. I ran into this one. It didn't do anything to me except for I just kept taking damage. That was pretty funny. And then it looks like the raccoon was still uh, crashing things. It's probably pretty hard to uh, code something correctly that has to deal with going around and picking up items for you and magnetizing uh, items for you. <clears throat> anything that's gonna run away from you off screen there's just so many things that i could fall into so i can see why the raccoon's been having so many issues but it looks like we're just slowly but surely fixing them here's 1.4.3 which is on friday two days ago uh blah, blah, blah. let's see okay so we're doing the stats menu on the next patch for today it seems the patch for yesterday really messed up enemy ai so this fixes that interesting okay so pet movement speed remains tied to the player movement speed however it now has minimum speed which it can go to oh and which it can go no more instances of pets running in place because you choose to run ah okay that's that's super nice oh <clears throat> excuse me so i i one of the things that like was really annoying when you did the 100% player speed modifier is that your pet was basically useless unless it was like fortunate enough to have something run into it so this makes it to where your pets can move even if you have the minus 100% modifier which is actually pretty nice so that's that's awesome <clears throat> and then I saw that this one had gone through as I've been playing they are now saved between runs that is just super helpful it was really frustrating having to go back when I was like testing between like you know 125 to 126 and i was just like barely tweaking anything to have to go back in and do it all over the like all over the place <clears throat> it's kind of a pain so this is a really nice quality of life change fix an issue with a pet ai is also being applied to enemies resulting in weird behavior that's really funny that's hilarious so i guess the 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 enemies were somewhat thinking they were pets i wonder how that made them act that's pretty funny Alright, so it looks like the raccoon getting stuck has also been fixed here. I feel like this is probably a, just a huge issue on the third map, basically. The third map has the most walls, it has the most turns, it has the most uh, open areas where mobs can walk over but you can't walk over, those like black areas. So, I, I can see this being a huge issue on that map, whereas the first and the second map, I mean like Dry Marsh, I guess things could get sticky if maybe you killed mobs outside the uh, wall and then the raccoon went to grab that stuff, but with the changes to where if things are dead outside of a wall, uh, exp comes towards the middle shouldn't be an issue anymore and then the second map same thing shouldn't really have any too been like too many issues on there there's just four directions in a center so it's pretty simple and then lastly patch 1.4.4 and these are supposed to be the last patches before the major update so that is awesome all right so change various aspects in the stat display so things can be more accurate and more clear i'll have to take a look at this See, when using Whisper's weapon skill icons showing the location of the map objects, chests and bosses are now displayed. So that this is good. The only thing I wish I, I might talk about is that I, I wish that when you're playing the Whisper, I wish that your HP was shown. Like your your the the player's HP, the character's HP was shown above the whisp uh, the, the spirit's head. Because there's too many times where uh, you're, you're playing around well at least for myself and a lot of these challenges that i'm doing is you're playing around healing yourself with the whisper regen and you get that by hitting enemies and sometimes i'd like to go i have to go very far away because of the third map skill so the specters um and you you lead them away with your spirit so the negative is 
I have no idea what my HP is at the time. So something where I could see the HP of my character while I'm far away would be great. Change the pet damage up description to be a little bit less confusing. <laughs> by pet, by this pet. Okay, nice. Uh, messages displaying the arrival of map objects. Now display earlier if that map object. Now dis oh, disappear earlier. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, sometimes like something will spawn and you'll just basically blow it up in a second depending on where it spawns if you're really lucky and it'll say it'll say it above you and sometimes it's really confusing because you don't know if it's the same thing or if it's a different one obviously you can look at the time but uh sometimes you just don't have the time to look at that adjust the positioning of magic ray magic missile upgrade so that it is so that it has higher aim and will be less likely to miss targets by firing too far down this is something that i ran into a lot when i was doing my magic missile just the video on what it looks like and how the relics change it the magic missile upgrade was really bad when it came to killing bosses it was fine on normal mobs and as long as things weren't super close to you it was okay but like when you're trying to kill bosses with magic missile and fireball you want to stand close to them because they target the closest enemy to you and the negative was you would just miss with the magic missile it was so bad you you, you would hardly get any dps out of it on the boss so that's a great upgrade i'm, I'm really glad that they did that then they let us know that they'll be working on Major Update 5, which is focusing on revamping weapon skills and introducing a branching evolution system. It's going to be a lot easier, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of testing, so it's probably going to be a long time. And since they're going to be focusing on the weapon revamp, the fourth map is probably going to be a hot minute, which is no big deal. I mean, I think with the third map and all of the map modifiers, we have a lot of gameplay to do right now, so I think we're in a pretty good place. Um, and then the new map will probably come out on Major Update 6, which, I mean, based on how fast Fox has been doing everything, I mean, shoot, let's see, the last Major Update was June 21st, and we're already, it's June 25th, so it's been four whole days, you know, and we're already moving on to Major Update number 5, so 6 could be right around the corner, maybe end of July, and we have a lot of beta testers, so things usually come out pretty well, uh, well oiled, so that's awesome. Let's see. Okay, so released within two weeks of the last patch. So looks like, you know, beginning of July. But we'll see. Because there's there's like this this is this is a, a really, really fast release process, so I'm not mad. He could take as long as he wants. It'll be a bit before posting first data in Discord, but if you like come check it out. If I'd be back. Okay, yeah, so definitely uh come and join the Discord guys. There's a lot of people in there. Everyone is super helpful. Everyone is always more than willing to share what they're doing, any advice that you need on certain maps. And, you know, say you're not like a visual learner, so like video guides don't help you out a lot and you need just someone to tell you like, you know, do this, 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 more of like a list. Definitely go and join the Discord. There's a lot of really nice people in there. I mean, even uh, Fox, the developer, is really good about replying to you. But granted, since they're gonna be working on the uh, fifth major update, probably gonna be a little bit quieter. But there, there's a ton of people in there that are super duper helpful. So We'll definitely come you know click this link it'll take you to the discord invite if you have discord installed on your computer it'll just pop up on your discord and if you don't it'll pop up on the browser so i definitely recommend coming and checking out the discord community they are all super great uh, other than that uh this will be the last patch update until the next major update and i will go over those ones I'm gonna be working on a couple more videos this coming week but until then i will see you guys next time and thank you so much